But there's plenty of evidence that exercise is good for our health, but a new study also shows how good it can be for your mental health. Ani Yang has more on the new research and how much exercise it takes to see the benefits. Which do you think would work better for treating depression, antidepressant medication, or running a half an hour a couple of times a week? Psychiatrist Dr. Joshua Weiner joins us to tell us about a recently published study that answers this question. I feel like I know what you're going to say, but what are the highlights of the study? Yeah. Yeah, and you know me well. We've talked about this before, right? Okay, so this was a European study, and what they did was they took 140 people who had depression. Many of them also suffered from an anxiety disorder. In order to enter the study, you needed to be somebody who exercised no more than once a week. And what they did was they also tracked your health parameters. So they looked at your blood pressure, your, your weight, et cetera. Now, some of the group got antidepressant medication, therapeutic doses of Zoloft or Lexapro, commonly prescribed antidepressants. Another group was just told, you're going to go out with somebody sort of supervising, and you're going to do a 10-minute warm-up, a half hour of running, running at generally for the first month, 50% of your max heart rate, which you can calculate by taking 220 minus your age, multiply that by 0.7. And then they did that for a half hour, and then they had a five-minute cool down. What they found, this is the take-home point, what they found is over the 16-week period of the study, the results were essentially the same. 75% of people in both groups improved. The interesting thing here is also when they looked at these health parameters, no surprise, the group that ran lost weight, blood pressure went down, the group that took the medications, no benefits. In fact, some of those people got worse in those parameters. So this is just one more thing that we've, talk, we've talked about before, one more study adding and lending support to the really powerful effects of exercise for mental health. Right, and, and you've also mentioned several studies about the evidence that this works too. Right, absolutely. So now this is just one more of several studies. There have been now about a dozen studies showing these benefits. So I think for anyone to say we don't have enough information out there to demonstrate the benefits, I don't think that's true. I think that clearly we could tell, and I've seen it. Look, I've seen it in my practice. And, and I think people just intuitively know this, right? The more you exercise, the better you feel. The, it, a lot of people say, how much do I need to exercise really to get the benefits? Well, this study is showing that really all you need is twice a week to get the benefits. Any other takeaways about exercise and mental health? Well, I think the key here is that people need to recognize that something is better than nothing, right? Start with going for walks, get outside. You know, I have pounded this home many times when you and I've talked. It's all about the basics, eat healthy, limit drugs and alcohol, try to get adequate sleep. And if you can get out and exercise as much as possible, all the better. So that's really the key. Work your way up if you feel like you're just not in good enough shape yet. All right. All the more reason to get some exercise in your life. Dr. Joshua Weiner, thanks so much for your time. All right. Thanks, Son.